One of the themes, though, that I heard a lot, was listening for, I will admit, um, was this interest in the continuation of a liberal international order and the challenges to that liberal international order that the new administration faces. Um, not the least of which is from the Russians. The concern was that over a longer period of time, it may be from the Chinese. We've heard a lot about terrorism, and we've heard a lot about even North Korea, um, uh, and we've heard a lot about the Middle East. Um, but this liberal international, which has been very good to us, this liberal international order, has, how we have become prosperous, we, the West, Europe, United States, Japan, uh, it, it, it's also set the rules, the boundaries, the understandings of how international relations is conducted, um, and that's under challenge. That's, that's, uh, that's under threat, in particular by the Russians, but by others as well. And when you say liberal international order, what are you talking so about So uh, we're talking about a respect for na national sovereignty. We're talking about a, a nation's ability to make their own decisions about which direction they would go in. And again, the obvious one is Ukraine, um, but there are other nations that feel the same kind of threat. Um, since World War II, and certainly since the end of the, Cold, uh, end of the Cold War, we have kind of assumed that nations will play by the rules and you don't change boundaries by force. Um, you don't violate sovereignty of your neighbors or any country for that matter. Uh, there are ways to resolve disputes. Um, there are ways to deal with each other in, with, a, uh, with a respect. You don't have to agree, and there were challenges we know uh, during the Cold War, after the Cold War, but there was a fundamental understanding of how you went about it. Those understandings um, are, are threatened.